Hello. Continuing our series on exponents, here is a big fat exponent problem that uses all the rules that we've studied so far all in one problem. Let's do it. So here is our problem and let's start breaking it apart. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to write down my mad spam. If you haven't looked at the mad spam video, take a look at that here and then come back. All right, so let's break this apart one bit at a time. First thing I'm going to do is I see I've got parentheses here and an exponent that applies to everything in the parentheses. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite each one of those top pieces raised to the third. Then I'm going to do them each. So that looks like this. So I took that to the third and I applied it to each one of my pieces. And now I can do each piece. Two to the third, that's a number raised to a power. So I just do that out two times two times two. So that is X to the negative three to the third. Well, I can look at my math spam and when I'm raising to a power, I multiply the exponents. So that's X to the negative three times three or X to the negative nine. And finally, Y to the two to the three, again, raising to a power means multiplication. Y to the two times three is just y to the sixth. And now I've distributed that raised to the three on my numerator. Okay, next, I'm going to take a look at the fraction part of this, which is division. And again, I can separate these into individual bits. So that might look like this. And now I can take each one of these separately. This first one, eight divided by four, that's just numbers. So that becomes two x to the negative nine divided by x to the four, when I'm dividing with like bases, I subtract my exponents. So that becomes x to the negative 9 minus 4, which is x to the negative 13. And finally, y to the 6 divided by y to the 7. Again, when I divide, I subtract. So that becomes y to the 6 minus 7, which is just y to the negative 1. And then finally, I don't want to leave any negative exponents. And I remember that a negative exponent can be rewritten as one over the positive version. That's going to happen for both my x to the negative 13 and y to the negative one. But my two will stay on the top of my fraction. And that will look like this. And that is my final answer. Nice work working through that big fat exponent problem. Take a look at some of these other videos involving exponents, and then go and check out some of these other videos on my channel and consider subscribing so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, keep on mathing.